All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B Bullet RC coming at you guys again with yet another. Well, you do. And listen, the weekend is already over, so you already know what time it is. It's time to get into this week's heat. Oh. Hi, when we get into the latest sneaker releases, sneaker rumors, or anything I want to talk about in the street world or sneaker world, that is what we do here today. And remember, if I don't talk about a shoe, either I forgot about it, didn't edit it in, or was just that. Basura! That! I did not want to expose y'all to it, but this week, we got the Fred Flintstones for the feet, the Barney Rubbles. When y'all see him, you'll understand, trust me. And of course... I'm gonna expose you to it. First off, of course, I missed y'all. Second off, we'll need a break. Third, and of course, we have to please the algorithm. So if you don't mind, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this bid. Sub up if you haven't already, and finesse the bell as well. It's been a ton of new sneaker news that have dropped, a ton of sneakers have dropped, and we got a ton of heat to get into today. Sit back, relax, and again, just for the algorithm's sake, Make sure you drop a like on this bit and let's get into this week's heat or hot. Now let's go ahead and get it started. First up, I wanted to get into three of the more recent releases. Let me know if you guys actually copped them. And three that, you know, I was kind of digging. First up has to be these right here, which is of course the Vault Griffies. Now these joints right here did drop over the past week and I resisted. Y'all know I'm a Griffey fan. I still have a ton of my Griffies. I think I let go of like one pair of my collection. And the reason I didn't cop a new pair, I think these ones are from like 2010, is just because I don't remember the last time I've worn this shoe. I haven't worn this shoe in probably three plus years, so there wasn't really a need for me to buy the new pair. Although I would love to have a crispy pair of vaults, and still saying all that, I still would love to get the new pair. I know I don't need them, but regardless of the fact, the vault griffies are fire, and if I didn't have them, more than likely I would have copped them, even though I really didn't need to. Now, the other two drops we had were both pair of the foam runners. Of course, we had the sand joints restocking, and then the midnight blue or the black and blue joints dropped as well. Of course, I really wanted the sand foam runner. I still want foam runners. I just didn't want to pay the crazy price for the OG joint. And I'm glad that they did release the sand ones and then restock them. I've been kind of watching where the prices are at. And it's still higher than what I would like to pay. But at this point, it kind of is what it is. I wish I would have been able to hit for retail because retail is 80 bucks. My size right now is like 320, 330. But when your fate is in the hands of an app or a web browser, I sat on Yeezy Supply for like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. I watched the thing say, do not refresh the page for 15, 20 minutes, and it just says sold out. I haven't gone through on any Yeezy Supply releases as far as the foam runners go on any of these recent joints, and it don't really seem like that's going to change, and I mean, it is what it is. Either way, I want the sand joints, but if you copped any of those, let me know down below. Speaking of foam runners, I'm probably not going to get for retail. We have another colorway blam, y'all see them right here. And I believe like Kim K showed these joints off and a whole bunch of other Yeezys that were coming out. And this is another pair of the foam runners. This time it's in more of a tan and brown. It's another good colorway. I still would rather have the OG or the sand pair, but I do dig the, I guess you can call these the MXT pairs, like these marble pairs that they're doing. It's not a bad idea and I like how they look. Definitely not my favorite foam runner. Of course, I'ma still try to get them because I would like to have a pair for retail, but y'all already knew that. So yeah, another foam runner that's gonna be next impossible to get. Next up on June 3rd, we actually got another brand new pair of ones or not exactly brand new, it is a retro of the original metallic or court purple metallic ones now I believe retail on these is still gonna be 170 and it's not a bad pair of ones I think I have the white and metallic navy joints the midnight navy ones and I really don't wear those a lot so this purple and white colorway for me is more likely gonna be a pass I know it's a one and I know the hype is crazy for ones right now but this colorway for me is just not something that I would really wear a lot and I'm not pressed for this colorway not a bad colorway I'm just not pressed moving over into some new balance news we actually have the Salehi Benbury 2002R we had kind of a snippet of this shoe a leak of the shoe from Salehi himself and then we have blam this picture right here and again just like the original 2002R this is another 
good colorway. Now, if I had to pick between the original and this one, I'd probably pick the original joint, but I like these either way. Now, this colorway is called the Water Be The God colorway, and I really like the salmon pink kind of mesh on the upper. It's NB, so you already know it's gonna be real premium materials on these ones. And the retail is probably gonna be a little bit hefty off the hip. Of course, I am gonna try for them. As of right now, no release date. Jumping into some Nike news and more specifically, another brand new pair of Air Force Ones. We have this hair Air Force One, which has Lola Bunny and of course, Bugs Bunny. This is gonna be some type of Space Jam 2 release. And we've only seen the Air Force One, but I would assume that there's gonna be more shoes with some of the Looney Tune characters on them. Now, if I'm keeping it a buck, like I always do, while the white and baby blue is a really clean symbol colorway of the forces, I feel like they could have done a better job with this one. It's a white and blue force, and you have Lola and Bugs on both sides, like this extra patch slapped on the top. It could have been a completely different colorway, and they just slapped these two patches on there. I think on the tongue tabs, they do have Bugs and Lola, so that's a little bit different as well. But all in all, I feel like it could have been a better shoot either way. No release date on these just yet. Now we got another pair of Kobe 6s. The only thing is these may or may not ever release because of course the contract situations, I'm not a lawyer, but from what I know, the Kobe and Nike kind of deal partnership is not you know renewed or anything like that. So I don't know what Nike can and cannot release. It probably can't release anything with Kobe's name on it right now. It could be something though where any colorways that were in production are already on the way can still drop, which is why you get shoes like, I think it was like an undefeated collab, the Kobe joints that came out after the deal ended and stuff. So I don't know exactly what's going on with that. It's just another Kobe six on the way. Just not sure if they're ever gonna drop. The next shoe we got is actually a super clean super dope pair of sbs and there's good storytelling to go along with the shoe blame y'all see them right here now this is a collab between first avenue and nike sb first avenue from what i understand is actually a music venue in minneapolis and this pair is inspired by prince now first avenue is actually where the purple rain movie was shot and on the shoe itself you can see black it kind of has like this brick pattern on the back you got the star. There's actually on the insole like a ticket to win. I believe First Avenue actually opened up. The swoosh is reflective. You got the purple accents on the leather on the shoe, the purple laces. Not to mention that the perforations on the toe of the shoe are all over stars. So there's no release date at all. There's just these leaked photos, but I'll be paying attention because this is a shoe that I would like to add to the stacks. Now, another rumor that I heard about was that the Oreo fives were gonna be returning. And it seems that we got some uh, leaked photos, alleged leaked photos of what this shoe is gonna be. And of course, y'all see them right here. It is the Oreo fives from a couple years ago. I mean, maybe like 2013, 2014, 2015, I'm not sure. And to be honest with you, this is not really anything I would cop right now. It's not, to, to me, this colorway is not on the level of something like a Flint 7 or a Raptor 7 or a Green Bean 5 or a Stella 5 or like the pink and gray joints. This Oreo 5 to me is not as good as any of those colorways. It's one of those one-off lifestyle colorways that in my opinion doesn't really need a retro. Another good example of a lifestyle Jordan release, Cool Gray 3s way better of a colorway than this shoe. I feel like the Oreo 5s had their time, their time has passed, but regardless, if they do drop again, it will be interesting to see how they do. I would assume that they're probably gonna sell out. It's a black and white five, people will go for them. Now y'all already know, it cannot be a heater hype in the year 2021 without some dunks on the list. And this first one is a Dover Street Market collab. Again, this is fresh leak, fresh rumor, no release date on these just yet. And it's an all over white, velour pair of dunks i'm gonna tell you right now as soon as you step outside these joints is dirty off rip velour is just one of those things where dust and dirt is ready to pick up all of it and when you have white velour good luck now the other thing about velour is that it looks good and these dunks to me look good y'all already know the deal it's a dunk it's gonna sell out it's a collab dunk with dsm is gonna sell out. Getting back into some Yeezy news, we actually have another pair of the 700 MNVNs dropping in October of this year or later on fall 2021. And this is the Honey Flux colorway. This seems to be an all over, you know, yellow, orange colorway. 
and y'all know i'm not a fan of the mnvn i'm gonna take the ogs over these every time so this one would be a pass for me we also got another brand new a lately made collab on the way slight bars this is a pair of air jordan 14 lows y'all see them right here and it seems to be an all over gray suede you got your black your gold and your emerald or like jade accents all over the shoe i don't know if i'm a big fan of the upper like the gray i feel like there could have been a better colorway to put with that jade and that gold but that's what's here definitely does not look bad at all and i love the jade emerald like marble look on the sole the gold accents we just all we need is the lately made fit pick we get that and then we'll see how they actually look on feet. Now another very interesting shoe that I saw coming from Nike is another force and this is called the Nike and the Mighty Swooshers Air Force one of one or one slash one. I don't know, Blaine, y'all see them right here. And this shoe is using that kind of patchwork theme where you can take certain panels off the shoe, add certain panels back onto the shoe. And y'all can see it's kind of like that anime theme on them. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, these are out of here. Anime women on the side, y'all, they gonna go, they gonna go. Listen, this is a judgment-free zone. I know how some of y'all get down out there. But yes, this is like an anime Air Force One. These joints are crazy. A lot of crazy panels. I really like that mech swoosh, like that Gundam swoosh on the side. That does look cool. These joints right here are just like out there. Something totally like a leap of faith from Nike, but I think it'll sell well. I think these joints are gonna sell out immediately. Another fresh leak. No release date yet, but good luck whenever you do have to go for them. Now we have some brand new undefeated collabs pop up this week as well. First off being this undefeated pair of Dunk Lows. Y'all see them right here. And I, I know some people, I've seen on the Discord, some people talking about, if y'all not part of the Discord, a link is down below for Finesse Gang Discord. If y'all want to hop in, say what's good. But some people were talking about them. I've seen some people not really liking them. In my opinion, I don't really I don't really hate these. I think the only thing is, yes, you could take off the snake skin. Maybe it'd be a better colorway, but I'm not mad at these at all. It is a little bit of a weirder colorway. Blue, purple with that really, really aged looking midsole. Definitely not for everybody, but this is one of the undefeated collabs that should be on the way later this year. Now, we also had a pair of Air Force One lows, and I believe there was an Air Force One high release in the same colorway. These ones are very, very simple, and they definitely do resemble like an older collab colorway. Very neutral, very simple, very old Air Force One colorway. Green and black, not bad, but not something that I'm really going to be pressed for. Okay, back to some more dunks. It's dunk time. First off, we have another dunk low. This is the lime ice colorway. Y'all see him a very, very light lime green, lime green ice colorway as well as pink. This colorway is going to come in women's sizing only and, you know, another pair of dunks, another simple, clean pair of dunks. Y'all want dunks. They're going to keep dropping them, but they're going to keep dropping them in limited numbers so you can't get them. So, you know how they do. Another small feet gang women's exclusive dunk. We have the team red and white dunk low. Again, I mean, what do you want me to say at this point? It's a team red and white dunk low. Then next up, we got another pair of dunks, but they switch it up. And this is the scrap dunk low, as y'all can see right here. Now this is in line with the more weird shit that I usually would like. And from these photos, these on feet photos, I'm not convinced yet. Maybe it's just this colorway, but I'm digging where they're going with switching up the dunk. And this scrap colorway right here seems to be just what it says, scraps. Like scraps taken from different dunks. Something similar to like a ready-made blazer and I dig that kind of vibe. But this particular colorway, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan just yet. Now another brand new silhouette that came out this year was a collab with Bad Bunny and that is this forum buckle low. And we have another new colorway on the way which is this all over black pair. First off, we had the brown, then we had the Easter pinks, which went crazy. Them Easter pinks, people was busting heads wide open past the white me for that pair, which was crazy in my opinion. And then third up, we now have this all over black pair, you know, another fresh leak. Pretty sure we're going to be seeing these very, very soon coming from Adidas. Seeing as how all the other releases have been so successful, I feel like we're going to be getting more and more colorways of this Bad Bunny collab. And for the Bad Bunny fans out there, I hope y'all can actually secure a pair for retail. Because trust me, once people have seen the numbers for them Easter pairs, every other pair after that, the resale is going to be on them, bro. So good luck. I hope you can hit for that retail. Duh. Another brand new Yeezy that was shown off this week from, I believe, Bari as well as Kim K once again. It's this all-over orange pair of Yeezy Quantums. I know I like the loud shoes, 
and I actually do dig these super, super loud pair of Quantums right here. And I will say this, if you are ever buying Quantums, go at least a half size up. I recently hit on the flash orange pair on Adidas. I got them in, I tried them on, and I was tight. Either way, I like this orange pair. Yes, they're loud. I know a lot of y'all gonna call them Basuda in the comments, but I'm digging. Okay, it is time to get into this week's Basuda of the week. And we have one very, very strong standing Basuda shoe sandal thing to talk about this week. This week's Basuda comes via Emron Potato. I'm pretty sure that's how you say his name. Pardon me if I mess it up, bruh. But yes, and it is Blank. Somebody did this. These joints right here. In the beginning, I said we got the Freddy Flintstones, the Barney Rebels on the way. And yes, if you want to wear block feet, big blocky, veiny feet, Thirty feet around here you go they're right here for you now i've heard of emron stuff before and i've actually seen it before and i actually like a lot of stuff he does like customs some bootlegs some unique stuff and these are definitely unique of course they're basuda it's part of the meme it's part of the joke so when i seen them i instantly was like yo come on bro you know these are going to end up on the Basuda of the week. So if you were ever just looked down at your own feet and thought, I want to wear some really nasty, dirty, big ass cinder block Fred Flintstone feet on my own feet. Here you go. And as far as the Basuda of the week goes, that is it. A very strong contender and definitely going to be one of the worst shoes of 2021. Basuda, you already know how it goes. Make sure y'all leave three words to describe the Fred Flintstone fives right here down below. And if y'all ever see some Basuda out there on the net, remember you can tweet me or you can go ahead and hit the Basuda Boys channel in the Discord. Again, Discord is linked down below. Now, can we go ahead and get the Barney Rebels off the screen, bruh? Thank you. So we can go ahead and get back to the heat, bruh. Getting back to it, we finally got a look at this all-over patent leather bread Air Jordan 1. And I kind of talked a little shit before on them because I was like, well, they're just patent leather ones. They'll just be shiny. I have leather ones. I probably won't care about them. But after seeing the little leaked image of the actual shoe, these is probably going to be a problem, bro. I'm going to take the OG leather over the patent leather every time. But the patent leather, the shine... It, it literally just kind of hits different. It's going to hit different when the sun hits them, bro. Now, we already know these should be dropping later on this year. So, right now, we just got the leaked image. You know, they exist. We'll see what else pops up in the upcoming months. Another shoe we heard about, then we actually got some photos of it. Then we got more photos of it via future is the Travis Scott Air Max 1. This is the Baroque Brown or Baruch, Baroque, whatever. The brown and white pair, the brown and sale pair of the Travis Scott Air Max 1s. There should be multiple colorways dropping either later this year or early next year. I believe it is later this year. And of course, you know, it's not gonna be a nice lined up picture. It's a weird side fold, but we can really see some more details of the actual shoe. The flip swoosh, the added pants, Panels. right now i'm not going crazy for this one at all maybe i'll like some of the other colorways better but you know they're not bad but it's not on the level of something like you know the trav air force ones the sale or the white pair another big story we got is the confirmation from union themselves that the topaz as well as the desert moss pair of the air drum force are dropping next month in june or this month in june i believe it's in the later half of the month and it's union jordan 4 so y'all know it's gonna be a big release both of these shoes were leaked and union finally just went ahead and officially let it go that yes they are on the way in june and i know i told y'all before that i like the taupe haze pair better that's the more of the all over like tan kind of color i am leaning now more towards that purple and yellow colorway it's just a little bit more out there i'm kind of messing with a little bit more either way if I could get either pair for retail, I'll take them. Another big rumor going around is that there could be a Chicago Dior Air Jordan 1 on the way. I don't think I need to tell y'all how much hype the original Dior 1s had, and then you add the Chicago colorway to it, and yeah, it gets nasty. Yeah, heads, heads don't even exist no more for these joints. Your head is your head is gone. Your head, your arms, your, it's all gone. For right now, this is a big, 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 big rumor. Rumor, so take it with the grain of salt. These could or could not drop. But with how successful the original ones were, I would not be surprised to see these. And then last up, but definitely not least up to end it off, we have the University Gold Off-White Air Force Ones official images 
They exist and they should be on the way. Now, it's gonna be similar to the MCA joints that dropped. This time, these ones go with like an ICA Boston exhibit, so they're gonna be released in Boston. And I still want a pair. Unfortunately, probably gonna be extremely limited. And since the all over blue MCA joints go for so much, the yellow joints, they probably gonna go crazy as well. So at the end of the day, although this shoe in my opinion is fire and I definitely want them, I already know how the release could go and uh, probably gonna have to pay to play. And right now, yeah, nah. Not for some of them prices I see for the MCAs. No thank you. But for this week, that is it. That is a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, make sure you sub up Vanessa Bell as well and drop a like on this bit. We have to appease the algorithm gods that watch over YouTube. Anyways, that is it. Y'all let me know down below. Did y'all copy anything this week or did you save all the money in the pockets? Remember, that is always a good option. Much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Twitch. The Twitch is Bullet RC. By the way, we might be live right now, so peep the link down below. Come through, say what's good. Here, there, blah, blah, of course. I don't feel like going to back there to get those. So, Bullet RC and I'm going to see you guys next video. Hope you all enjoyed. Good to be back. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Much love. Peace. Ready. If you come here trying to take some, there's a lot more where that came from. And it really ain't no thing. I got some up here in this thing. I just dropped the jig in my Red Bull and it really gave me wings. Yeah, yeah, up and away. Y'all should have seen it shit coming in May. We doing 300 records.